Rich Side Can I starting out the second half adventure of the day? We are in the beautiful town of Hamilton in Western Loudoun County, picking up two German Shepherds from a great client. I'm gonna pick these dogs up. I'm gonna run them both north, cross the state lines over to Mr. Scott, meet him and Frederick, which is halfway mark from his house to my house. Turn these dogs over. The adventures never stop. Here stopped. comes number two. <laughs> she looks gorgeous right now. She's pretty. Looks like a little African wild dog that had color like that. We have arrived at the meeting spot. Contraband, I mean German Shepherds, in the back. Waiting on Scott to get here, man. Waiting on Scott, sitting outside Dick's Sporting Goods in uh, Frederick, Maryland, off Buckstown Turnpike, middle ground. Bane out emails. I'll tell you, man, one thing about small businesses is speed kills, speed kills, speed kills. I used to have like certain times a day that I would get on emails, talk to clients, etc. Now, it's 24 7. I, I never leave home without a computer. I have another laptop, just stays in a van. This is my primary laptop that I carry. If I stop, if I pause, I'm on a computer. Round o'clock, wake up, go to sleep. It's just a part of reality that if uh, if you want it, got to be willing to go get it, baby. Look at that shiny individual right there. Look how happy he looks, y'all. Look how happy the shiny individual looks. He's going to try to pull on that handle. He didn't quite realize that door was locked. You didn't see that dark. Don't smile now. You didn't get out smiling. Don't smile now. You got out looking all tired. I'm good. Say something for him, Scott. <laughs> I'm, I'm so Scott trained these dogs a long time ago. They're going back for boarding, help out a client. And uh, there's your boy Scott. Yeah, it's been a long time. Bite him. Bite him. Pock him, girl. Pock him. Dirsh. Sick him. Attack. Bite him. She's like, I don't know who you are, but you got the leash. And here we go. One Mercedes into the next. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm not too fond of that. But right in the hole, here's Scott's van, man. Uh, same Mercedes like mine. All set up, everything strapped in, everything buckled down, everything set up. You're rocking with some pit bulls. Got a lot of pit bulls in here. Pit bull? Pit bull? Little pit bull? Dobie? That Dobie will eat you for lunch. We ain't gonna open that case because I don't wanna have to protect myself. Anyway, strap them up, number two. And out with number two, the secondary sister. As you guys notice, these dogs are in full heat right now. So Scott's doing her a huge favor, getting them out of her kennel. She has a lot of German Shepherds too. Bringing them into his kennel, which will cause chaos, but that's okay. It's what we do. Spin it around, mama. That's a good girl. You guys don't know, man, these vans, I had the same one, which is a, uh, the, crew per the crew package. So having a dog van with the ability to have three passengers in the back is an awesome thing. That's it. Scott, how far is you drive today? Did you work last night? Yeah. Work last night, training dogs today. How many miles is it back to uh, the Eastern Shore? 60. He don't know. I had to get the camera off Scott directly because you could tell he's a little bit tired. <laughs> Who knows what he's going to say. So we had to stop the camera and prep the conversation. Not that we would ever do that. Never know. Anyway, guys, it's important, man. Virginia, back over to Scott. Two quick phone calls, three trainers involved. Two trainers made it happen. Always support our clients. You didn't know I recorded this whole day so far. I recorded the pickup. I recorded the transport. Now we're closing out with Scott. Vlog. <laughs> P.S. Quick kennel hack. This is important. If you guys look at every one of Scott's kennels, you have that black box there and a black box there. And what they do is, if dogs, e-collar, and circuit count. Scott, how did you think about doing something so ingenious? So it's kind of funny because my wife says to me, who would have thought about making an e-collar holder for this kennel? I said, that's cool. It's actually a remote control hole. Woo! Okay, so this is what I wanted to TV. show you. all These are the boxes. I saw this myself and I was like, that's the smartest thing I've ever seen in my life. And Scott was like, yeah, I got them on every kennel. It's a remote control holder. They cost how much, Scott? 12 bucks. $12. He gave me a bunch for free. We appreciate it because I'm poor and I need handouts. He mounted them with double-sided tape. That was my contribution. Scott was going to actually screw these and make... Scott does everything times 100. Scott won't do anything simple. Look look at this van for a good example of that, right? Scott was like, yeah, man, I found these cool brackets and screws and washers and nuts and a new drill, and I'm going to make this elaborate. I'm like, use double-sided tape and you're done. He's like, ah, uh, sounds too simple. Yeah, well, it, this is, it is this is Scott 1000. You can see every kennel back in here. Look, look, I mean, okay, okay first off, I'm not going to show you my van because it's it's much more organized and clean than this van. But look at this van and how organized and clean. Look look how clean this van is. And make no mistake, uh, Scott does a lot of dogs. <laughs> Up here in the back of the seat, 
That's also important. See the box right there? That's an inverter. I think that's a 2,000 watt. How many watts? Yeah. Yeah. 2,000 watt pure inverter right there that's running off the battery. You can run multiple fans. You can run a microwave, coffee maker, really whatever you want under 2,000 watts. Anyway, this is cool, man. That was the PS. Scott, what else you got? Rich Side Canine. Yeah.